to talk more about the Splunk Common Information Model, commonly referred to as the SIM. Um, right here, I've just brought up a little sheet of their, it's not little, it's quite quite a lot of information on docs from Splunk about how to use the SIM. Um, there is lots and lots of information here, but I want to draw your attention to the data models. You do not have to work on this in a uh, in a vacuum, there are lots of things. So we've been talking a lot about the network traffic. If we go to the network traffic diagram, it actually has some information, tells you uh, different use cases. It'll talk about the tags that need to be involved, uh, what fields are recommended or required, prescribed, other values, uh, what they kind of mean. So when you read, for example, bytes, they they think you should use bytes in plus bytes out, whereas bytes in, bytes out are different, things like that. It'll just walk you through each of the fields. I highly recommend when you're looking at a data model from the SIM one, if you're not building it from scratch, that you go through and you just look at what they've put out there. It's a great reference. All right, so first thing, we're gonna break down this in each of the different videos. What do I need to do my data model? So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to come into Splunk, we're going to hit data models, and we're going to stick here on this network traffic data model. So if we come over here, we come to network traffic, and I'm just going to walk through. I can expand this, and we can see that there are four data sets, the permissions, whether it's accelerated or not. We're going to just click the network traffic, and we're immediately brought to this little the constraints. This is the section you really want to focus on when you're setting up your data model. So today we're going to be looking at those indexes. How do we get those indexes in there? Uh, we don't want Splunk to be looking across every index for the data models. It's not efficient. And Splunk has built constraints into it. And the first thing we got is this little macro right here, SIM network traffic indexes. And so how do we f find that? The easiest way to do that is we're going to come in here and we're going to go to settings. Sorry, over here, apps, manage apps. And we're going to come into write sim and just search. This is, of course, you've got to have had installed the Splunk common information model. This does not come by default inside Splunk. You need to go download it from Splunk Base. Um, I'm going to come here and I'm going to hit setup. And I've already done network traffic. I'll show you what it looks like, but I'm going to grab a different one since I've already done it. Here are all those uh, data models that were being mentioned. And if I go to network traffic, I can see that it's restricted to looking only in my Zeek, my Correlate, and my Lame Training Index. It's not going to look anywhere else. Let's say we're going to do network sessions um, or network resolution. This is your DNS. Um, by default, it's restricted to Zeek. We can see here in malware, if it's not if it's not there, it's actually going to search everything. I highly tell you, especially if you're going to go into data acceleration, don't leave this blank. Whitelist out. Call out the ones that you need to be restricted to. But you can see it real quickly here, restricted suricata, uh, no restriction, no restriction, no restriction. Make sure that your restrictions are set correctly. And so in my case, I have three different data sources providing me network traffic. So I'm going to write each three, each of those three indexes. But by doing this, I'm not going to be looking through my Windows event logs. I'm not going to be looking through my Suricata logs. I'm not going to be looking through other indexes that have nothing to do with this network traffic data model. And when I'm done, I'll just hit save and you, you should see it update here on the side. So for example, if I went to network sessions and said you will only run on Corelite, I hit save we can now see that it is restricted to Corelite. It's as simple as that. If you do that, you'll meet this first section, which is SIM network traffic indexes. It will now, the macro will pull back each of those indexes. It's as simple as that. I hope this helps. I hope this helps you on your journey to starting to use data models and helps you in your journey from being a lame analyst to a Splunk Ninja. If you like this, please uh, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. It really helps as I continue to develop this content. Um, anyway. Hope to hope you watch other videos.